Hi, it's everybody. How y'all doing oh, out there? Oh, man, we're so glad to have you. So uh, we're going to lay a little, bit of, a little bit of rhythm and blues on you right now, and then we're going to talk to Mr. Finley about things going on in his world. This is WWZ FM New Orleans. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby, I just want to tell you what your love has done for me. Ooh, baby, I just want to tell everybody how your love done set me free. When you came in my life, I was really feeling down. You came in, turned my world around. You picked me up and you turned me around Now you got me feeling like a brand new man now Oh, I just want to tell you What your love has done for me Ooh, baby, I just want to tell everybody How your love set me free When I was down and out Didn't have a dime too man i'll tell you what thank you so much for coming by robert finley to all of you out there who might have just tuned in we are very very lucky to have him live in the studio here at wwz i uh, want to talk a little bit about uh, what's going on in his world today and i guess since it's veterans day i want to start right there and say uh, i know you're a you're a service veteran we appreciate our my show personally appreciates the uh, the service that you've given to this country why don't you uh, speak to that a little bit about how that ties into your music maybe well maybe you know uh first of all i want to Thank all of my federal veterans for their service. And uh, we all made a sacrifice, prepared ourselves for a sacrifice. Some of us came back in healthy and in our right mind. Some come back with dif- disabilities. But uh, I want to say to whether you was wounded or whether you was uh, made it through without a scratch, thank God, you know, that we made it through. And, and because of it's because of your sacrifices that this country is what it is today and i i just want to make sure all the veterans know that that we appreciate it uh and uh to let the world know that uh if i had it all to do again i would do it all over again yes indeed yes indeed. and i believe you uh you started playing music when you were in the service is that correct uh right uh i was playing music uh well i actually bought my first guitar at the age of 10. okay but so I, before then <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a long story but i went in the military at the age of 19 and uh i uh my first station was illustrian germany and as i got off the train uh i got off on a friday evening and when they picked me up and took me to the duty station, my uh, f- sergeant gave me the 
weekend off. He says, oh, just report to duty Monday morning. So he had one of the soldiers to take me to the recreation center to where, uh, you know, the place where all of the, ins the veterans got a chance to relax and let they have that. And I happened to go in and, and checked out a guitar, and I was just sitting there playing my guitar, and, and a guy walked in and said, hey, man, uh, we need a guitar player. Say, our, our lead guitar player just went back to the States and say, we got a show tomorrow, and we do not have a guitar player. And I was like, man, I don't know y'all's stuff. I don't have no idea what y'all going to He says, man, look, just do what you're doing, and we're going to back you up because otherwise we're going to have to cancel the company picnic. So that was a great opportunity for me to step out front stage, first day in Germany, to actually get to meet all the battalion because – all the big brass was out for a family picnic. And uh, so I guess I got to meet the whole brigade at the same time. There you go, uh, man. Well, that's a good, yeah, that's a nice way to get everybody yeah. knows who you are when you're the guitar player, right? right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I know we've got uh, coming up towards the end of this month, you're getting an award from People's Health. They're, uh, they're going to be honoring you over at the Saints game. And uh, that, uh, that is an award they give to folks who have done something extraordinary at, uh, once they've made 65 or older. And uh, and be really become uh, sort of model citizens of how to how to live those later years. And uh, of course, uh, for those that don't know, Mr. Robert Finley here, he uh, he cut his first record just a few years back, and uh, has been going full throttle since then with uh, recordings, touring. Uh, you're a TV star now, man. I'll tell you <laughs> what, you got all kinds of stuff going on. There's a comic book made on you too. So uh, all kinds of stuff coming up. That's uh, that's the 24th of November, I believe. Is that correct? Right, and be on the 24th of November. Uh, actually, we're doing a show in Arkansas on the 22nd. Okay. And we're leaving the next day, headed to New Orleans for this. So uh, it's going to be a busy weekend. Oh, but yeah. we're looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to be in, in uh, if, if anyone is in the Arkansas area, we're going to be at the Griffin Hall, at the co Griffin Corner, they call it. Uh, and it's we'll be there on the 22nd. All right. And um, we're going to leave there immediately after the show and uh, head to New Orleans. Uh, the greatest thing about this is uh, I'm living my childhood dream because this is something I wanted to do from a, from a little bitty kid. And uh, it was, since I was big enough to uh, sit in front of the TV, I wanted to be on it. Yeah. <laughs> Took me a little while oh, to get yeah. there. <laughs> hey, you know, better late than never, like they yeah. say, right? So, no, you made you sure made it there. That's for true. Well, uh, I know we got a uh, performance, both the one in Arkansas and then later that night on the People's Health Award, you'll be playing here in the French Quarter. Yeah, I'll be one eye jacks. Yeah, so. I'll be at one eye jack. Hey, man, uh, those, those guys are, are owning, uh, you know, people that, uh, when, you know, when you get a certain age, Everybody think that you're supposed to get a rocking chair and sit back and let the world go on. But I found out that I, when most people retire at 65, I came alive at 65. There you so. go. Came alive at 65. <laughs> you hear it here first. Well, uh, give the people some of that life. Stead. Let them know what they can hear if they come and check you out here. Another tune for us, please. Uh, uh, this one here, is, I wrote this song. Uh, it's called uh, Snake in the Grass. And uh, it's really... Uh, You'll know about it because a lot of a lot of people have experienced it, but uh, the song speaks for itself. It says, <laughs> I got a problem, I got a snake crawling in my grass, and I can't catch him. He's just a little bit too fast, but I know it's a snake. Crawling in my grass And one of these days I'm gonna cross his path The low down dirty snake Let me tell you what he do He bites my old lady And he's charming my children too I'm gonna catch him Before it's too late Somebody help me, y'all, before I make a serious mistake. Cause I got a snake crawling in my grass. And I can't catch him. He's just a little bit too fast. But I know it's a snake crawling in my grass. And one of these days, I'm going to cross his path. I told my neighbor, I told my friend, try to help me stop 
that old snake from coming in. But once I told him what my baby was trying to do, don't you know my neighbor, he started trying to get into. Oh, something going on, and I know it ain't right. But she's not satisfied that that phone rang every night. I got a snake crawling in my grass, and I can't catch him. It's just a little bit too fast, but I know it's a snake crawling in my grass. And one of these days, I'm going to cross the path. Laid off from work one night, trying to catch him in my home. But by the time I made it back, he done bit my girl and gone. Now, I've never seen him, but I can tell when he been there. Every time he come, y'all, he leaves such a massive spell. Oh, something going on. You know it ain't right. But she's not satisfied till the phone rang every night. I got a snake. Crawling in my grass And I can't catch him It's just a little bit too fast But I know it's a snake Crawling in my grass And one of these days I'm gonna cross his path Dirty snake It's a dirty snake Crawling in my grass Sir, <laughs> you ever catch that snake? <laughs> you, you, you manage you to know, catch the snake? You know, this is a modified <laughs> version. You know, I had, had to break it down because I know kids are listening all That's over right. the world. And, uh, but, Na you know. Names have changed to protect the innocent and uh, <laughs> yeah. all, that, all that jazz, too. Huh? I had to change out a few words. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, the greatest thing about this is uh, coming out. First of all, let me, let me talk about uh, AGT. Man. That was the experience of a lifetime. And there was thousands of people that signed up for that show. And to actually make it through the judge cut and make it to the semifinals was a dream come true, you know. Uh, and when I found out that I was singing before 5,000 people live, and they say it all, that everybody was on their feet you know, and applauding. That that was it. And then God knows how many million people was listening. Listening and watching and on the TV, man. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> and it changed my life because just walking out, I can't even, even in the little town I live in, uh, Bernice, Louisiana, uh, I can't go to the store, get a loaf of bread without somebody coming up want to take a photo. Uh, I'm sure. And, and, They're uh, going to be naming streets after you yeah. up there, man. Tell you what. <laughs> And I went to Winsboro, Louisiana. They actually uh, gave me a key to the city. They did a holiday, uh, Robert Finley Fun Day, and which was great about it. Uh, it was telling the youth to uh, put down the gun and pick up the books, you know. So it was it was a great thing. It was it was supported and organized by the mayor of the city and, and the town council, and uh, to be able to step out before the whole young generation and, and uh, tell them there is a way, you know what I'm saying? And, Absolutely. And, uh, so it was a real positive thing. And so that was in Winsboro, Louisiana. And the little town I live in, Bernice, they're actually planning the same event uh, for uh, the 30s of uh, – November, so all right. I'll get you're back gonna home have a busy, a busy schedule the rest yes. of this month. I'll tell you yeah. what. All yeah. right, all right. And I understand you've been uh, working on some new uh, new album uh, material as well. Is Man, that right? fixing to go back in the studio with with my great friend Dan Arbach. I never could thank him enough because he was uh, he had millions of fans, and he put me on the spotlight to actually not to go out and open up a show for him. But he stopped in the middle of his show and brought me on as a special guest. And that's that means a whole lot more than saying, uh, you know, someone opened up for different bands. Oh, yeah. And I thought I was going to open up for him, but he was like, oh, no, no, I'm going to 
I got a band to open up. I want you guys to my special. Yeah, guest, absolutely. So. No, he uh, he re he respects the tradition and he respects uh, other great blues musicians. So yeah. I'm glad he could, uh, like you said, use use that exposure to uh, to to show the people that uh, they need to know about some Robert Finley if they don't already. And then yeah. the, uh, and then like you said, the TV America's Got Talent uh, up on there and. Uh, you know, it's like uh, I imagine that's probably something like what back in the day at the Apollo Theater when people be getting right. selling that place out and, and driving them crazy. You know, and you know, I, and I actually got to uh, perform when we I went on tour with him on the East Coast and the West Coast, and we closed out the last tour. Uh, we did it in Nashville. Okay. And uh, I had never been in in into the you know only thing I had ever seen was. Uh, about the Grand Ole Opera was what I had seen on TV. On TV, right? Yeah. yeah. And I want you know to actually go on this stage where I've been watching from I'm a kid, and then be able to perform bef before that audience. And I don't know how true it is, but uh, some of the staff was telling me that that was the first time that uh, anyone had ever got three standing ovations <laughs> uh, and I did three songs and, I, and they'd say well man you just made history you got three standing ovations uh and I'm like I in in the Adobe Theater and I'm like man are you serious and uh, and uh, so you know this was a historical moment and then going from there to a AGT, oh uh, man, just, um, and the, and like you say, you just come alive at sixty five, and that yeah. train just keeps rolling, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. It just and by the time you think you did everything you can do, then that comes a phone call and say, let's let's take it to another level. But I'm really looking forward to getting back in the studio. Now there is a a sh a, 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 a video that some people might not know about, but you can find it on YouTube. It's Robert Finley's. It's a Christmas song. Okay. And it's called. Uh, Merry Christmas, I love you. All right. Uh, it's a video and an auto, so uh, I'm sure that uh, it should, would put some Christmas spirit. It is. Tis the, <laughs> getting to be the season, yeah, so yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get that one uh, in the rotation on the old YouTube. Absolutely, and uh, and they can um, uh, folks can check you out online, Robert Finley. I'm sure uh, yeah. you got all your music and uh, tour dates and such available out there. Yeah, and, and uh, the upcoming tour, uh, because we uh, in the process of on the. Uh, a new uh, booking agent. Uh, I don't have all the information as of now, but um, I'm sure if they, the fans stay in touch with the page, all will be they, revealed. It will all come out within <laughs> within time. Uh, but uh, I I couldn't do as much as I do uh, without giving prop to uh, my daughters that uh, support me. So uh, my daughter takes me anywhere I need to be and makes sure I'm there on time. Uh, so she's my new uh, road manager as far as getting me where I need to be when I need to be there. Uh, but I, I'm looking forward to this one-eyed Jack uh, yeah. after the game. After uh, the game, man, it's a big it's day, man. So uh, uh, November 24th, y'all, if you're just tuning in, we got the great Mr. Robert Finley here on WWOZ, and uh, he will be honored by the People's Health over at the Superdome on the 24th of November uh, during the Saints game. So. 70-some thousand people be there, uh, plenty more watching at home, and uh, People's Health has always done a great job of uh, honoring some of our uh, elder statesmen and women that have uh, ma made it uh, into their later years and, and managed to continue to be inspirations and do, do th remarkable and extraordinary things, and that, that definition certainly fits Mr. Robert Finley also. The 24th, if you're going to that game at the Dome, y'all, pay attention. You can't miss him. He's a big fella, so uh, he, you'll probably be able to check him out over there. And then uh, that night, One-Eyed Jacks down in the French Corner on Toulouse Street. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a great show. I know I'll be there. So we appreciate you coming by WWOZ, man. Pers thanks for uh, coming and getting the word out and uh, on, a, on a Rhythm and Blues show where we can uh, get uh, – I know a lot of my listeners like your music. I play I play your stuff fairly regular, and I always get calls on it. People talk about, what's that song? What you play? What this <laughs> is? I say, okay, man, y'all got to know. So now they know. Um, and uh, actually on on that, let's give them one more live cut if you uh, if you don't mind. So okay, uh, yeah. So, uh, the, 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 the message I like to leave with everybody is uh, winners never quit and quitters never win. So don't give up. On your dream. You're never too young to dream, and you're never too old for your dream to come true. And on that note, uh, since we're in Louisiana and uh, we're going to be celebrating all all of the month of November, really, but uh, especially uh, doing this uh, 24th at the gang. And, uh, you know, I'm a true I'm – a, I'm, a, I'm a real deal. You know, I'm a true Saints fan. So uh, uh, win or lose, 
we're going to be, we, you know, we there to the end, but uh, we're going to celebrate just just the fact that uh, we, we're we here doing our thing. That's right. Uh, but uh, I got this song called Louisiana Rock, and I'll, I'll play it a little bit long because I saved it for the end, and it's called Louisiana Rock. So if anybody out there that never been to Louisiana, if you ever come to Louisiana, you'll be a witness that Louisiana do rock. Yes, sir. Here we go. Yeah. 